to not only show how to create multi-categorical vari dummy variables in R and how to interpret those variables, I want to go through an example. And so if you remember back to last module, we briefly talked about a study that was conducted to predict salaries for different levels of professors. And so it, this data was coming from Iowa State and the variables that we have are what department the professor is coming from, their rank, so assistant, associate, and full assistant being the lowest and untenured. Associate is tenured, but not a full professor. Then we have the self-identified gender of the professor as well as their uh, salary and their um, grants that they were able to um, receive for the fiscal years of 2001, 02, and 03. And again, what we're interested in is whether or not the quote merits of the individual as in how many how many grants they're able to get how that predicts their salary or the compensation that they receive so the first thing that i want to do is just briefly plot the bivariate relationship between our main covariate of interest grant and salary our outcome and so here we can kind of see and i've taken the log of these because there are some extreme outliers We'll talk about that with regard to regression diagnostics, but just for plotting, I visually, it would be really difficult to show this because there'd be a very small cluster and a couple of points off. So just to visually represent this relationship, I took the log of both the grants that someone has received as well as their salary. And you can kind of see a linear relationship if you really squint your eyes but from this it's kind of difficult to tell right and so from this i would say we can go into it with the expectation that there may be a slight correlation but i certainly can't distinguish one based on rank which we have represented as uh, in color so we'll first just regress average grants that someone received on the salary or compensation that they then got in preceding years. And we'll do that with the LM function in R. We then get our regression coefficients. And the first thing that I would point out is just with one variable, grants, we have a pretty low R squared value. It's below or around 0.07, so we're explaining about 7% of the variation in salary by including grants. Now we're gonna go ahead and include the second variable that we're interested in, which is the rank of the professor. And this is a dummy variable and it's a multi-category dummy variable. So we have to think about different ways that we're going to essentially dichotomize this trichotomous variable. And we're gonna do that by representing it with two categorical dummy variables in which the first one will indicate assistant and the second will indicate associate. So therefore the baseline category is full professor, right? Because full professor will be two zeros in both of the categories. If an assistant, if the, uh, sorry, if the professor is, is an assistant, then they will have a one only in the first dummy and a zero in the second. If they're an associate, they'll have a zero in the first and one in the second. Now, since we know how to construct that, we know that we've got three categories and we need two dummy variables, we can go ahead and just do that in R. Essentially what I'm doing here in row, or sorry, line two and three is creating the baseline category. So I'm literally just filling in zeros for every observation um, for the first two variables, D1 and D2. Then if it is the case that the professor is an assistant, which is code rank three, then I'm saying to fill in D1 as one. So that indicates an assistant, right? Then I also in line five, I'm saying if it's an associate, put one in D2. 
So now that we've created our dummy variables for rank, now let's think about how we actually want to create the additive model so that we can predict salary based on not only the quantitative variable of grants, but this categorical variable of rank.